This is a piece of lino that's already been cut into. You can see that the background has been taken away and the picture has remained and is the raised surface that will be inked up and printed. This is a bench hook and it fits on the edge of the table so that it doesn't move. This is a piece of lino and it's had the picture traced onto it and then I've gone over in pen so that when I'm cutting it doesn't rub away. You place the lino on the bench hook up against the top edge so that it doesn't move as you cut it. These are the lino cutting tools and they come in different sizes. Uh, the blades are different sizes and you want to start off with a nice small blade. This is a number one size. And you start by going cutting just outside of your lines so you're going around the picture so you go all the way around just outside of your lines and you can see the angle that I'm cutting at I'm not going down at a sharp angle I'm going across at a shallow angle so I'm sc scraping away the surface you can see also how I'm holding it I'm, I'm not holding it like a pen I'm holding it like so, so I can get a nice shallow angle. Once you've gone all the way around your design, your drawing on the lino, you can use a, a cutting tool with a wider uh, cutting blade. And then you can scrape away the background, cut away the background, and because it's larger, this will take less time. Also remember that when, uh, when you're cutting out any part of your lino, you can turn it so that your hand is at a more comfortable angle. I don't want to see anybody cutting at odd angles. So make sure you're comfortable and then you're more likely to cut out accurately. And the last thing to remember is that you never cut towards your hand. You always hold the lino at the bottom and cut away from your hand. You never cut towards your hand because these tools are sharp and if you jab them into you, uh, into you, you will it will hurt. Okay.